Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Do you behave in a good Christian manner or do you follow the worldly behavior of others? Do you lead others to Christ or are you a weak follower of them? Something that life with God means just faith, love or spirit without caring much about virtues or behavior. But the Bible is concerned with the Christian behavior, especially about condemnation. As it says, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Then one's behavior in the Spirit is what protects one from condemnation. This spiritual behavior is considered an evidence of being firm in God. The Apostle expects a very high level by saying, He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Therefore, we are also expected to act according to the Spirit, by taking the behavior of the Lord Jesus as an example to follow. The importance of Christian behavior is shown in God saying, you will know them by their fruits. This behavior has two sides, a positive and a negative. Each side has its own danger. Therefore, St. John the Apostle said, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin this shows us the positive side as for the negative side the Apostle says if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not practice the truth therefore our Christian behavior is an evidence of our fellowship with God it is also an evidence of our fellowship with the church. Accordingly, the church sets apart anyone who does not behave properly. As in St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, put away from yourselves that wicked person. St. John also said, but we command you brethren in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks a disorderly and not according to the tradition which he received from you. Let's take a look at the following. A unique look at the week. Monday, wash day. God help me wash away my selfishness and vanity so I might serve you with perfect humility through the week ahead. Tuesday, ironing day. God help me iron out all the wrinkles of prejudice I have collected through the years so that I may see the beauty in others. Wednesday, mending day. God help me mend my way so that I will not set a bad example for others. Thursday, cleaning day. God help me to dust out all the many faults I have been hiding in the secret corners of my heart. Friday, shopping day. God give me the grace to shop wisely so I might purchase eternal happiness for myself and all others in need of love. Saturday, cooking day. God help me to brew a big kettle of brotherly love and serve it with clean sweet bread of human kindness. Sunday, God's day. I have prepared my house for you. Please come into my heart as my honored guest, so I say, spend the day and the rest of my life in your presence. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, you showed us by your loving kindness how to live a pure Christian life without stain. Help me, Lord, to follow your good example and behave in the same way.